Good afternoon, everyone. Treasure Troller here with another recap of Alone, Season 11, Episode 8. Not a lot, not a lot going on in this one as far as tap outs, self mutilation, uh, nothing like that. So while we brought up self mutilation, uh, just something that I didn't talk about last week. Uh, a little, I guess the little segment will be called Callie Says. Remember, we can criticize anything except we cannot criticize Callie. Callie is off limits. Callie is one of the co hosts of the Alone, the official podcast. Feel free to check that out. It's usually the day after the episode airs. So, Callie can do no wrong in our book. She was talking about in last, and I don't think I had mentioned this. And the ep episode seven, when Timba tried to cut his thumb off, she's talked about, she's used that same saw and she would recommend using a smaller saw with uh, maybe the teeth not so gapped and a few more teeth. And it might be a bit more efficient, may not be as efficient, but it is safer. So Callie knows best. Callie says, do not buy the biggest saw of that type. Use one of the smaller ones. So anyone auditioning for the Alone Show should be listening to Treasure Troller, should be listening to this recap show. So there you go. A little bit of free advice. Callie says... Do not take the biggest handsaw out there. Take a smaller one. This season's been a little bit different than all the other seasons. With the food gathering. Other than Sarah, who doesn't seem to have a handle on how to get food. Now, maybe things will pick up once the snow falls and she can do a little bit of trapping. Uh, you know, she's got the, she's got her roots buried. She's got all the, you know, the, the grass that she could possibly gather up. And we saw that with Roland. Roland thought he had himself uh, quite the stash of, of uh, edibles only for them to go bad on him. So we're going to have to see if any of those of Sarah's are edible. before too long next we got William William once again he just nothing seems to be bothering this guy even the fact that he's feeding half the island's population of rodents nothing seems to be bothering him he really hasn't figured out he really hasn't figured out what to do with his extra food I can't believe he's eating that much food to where he can store half a fish. Uh, I just think sometimes, man, just cook the cook the fish. Now I understand a you know four foot long pike, or you, there may be a few extras in there. It might be a few extra morsels that you're going to want to try to save. But Roland, I mean Roland, William. I, I don't see him gathering up as much food or catching as many fish as the rest. And even when he does catch it, he tries to save half of it, which he's never able to eat. Now, according to what Callie said, Callie says, when will he figure out to be storing the food in his shelter? So that's what we're going to have to look for from Roland. Roland, God, why am I on this? From William, better storage. I, I just have a feeling that eventually giving away half your meal is, is not going to be of any benefit. Then we get Dub. I'm not sure what to say about Dub. I'm really not sure. 
I mean, he's gathering food. He's on sort of that, maybe a little bit above average on things. Still the favorite to win. Still the favorite to win. Seems to be moving along. Maybe a little bit better than William. I got it right that time. Not quite as well as Timba. Timba just seems to have, I think, in the alone producers... I didn't catch it, but I think Timba had a horseshoe uh, stuck up his ass when he left out for his uh, his designated area because the dude's uh, just been very lucky. He's been very, very lucky. Uh, the although I liked his uh, I, I liked his. Hang on a second. I liked his idea of uh, keeping the fish alive on a string. As soon as he put it out there, I'm going, oh, what could possibly go wrong here? Yeah, you know, maybe you want to, like, put those sticks in just a little bit deeper or maybe running run them from a, a small tree on the bank there. Uh, that was just had disaster written all over it. But I do like it. I think uh, maybe in the seasons to come, we'll see more of that type of fish storage. We'll also see the grouse hunting. That, that was 3D chess right there. That dude was 3D chess. So that's about it. I just, there's not much to criticize or make fun of this week. No one tapped. I, I think Sarah, Sarah could be, Sarah could be there. You never quite know about the edits because they, they do kind of show Sarah struggling, but William could just sort of get tired of it all. I think Dub predicted winner is there for the long haul. We'll have to see how uh, Timba adjusts to the snowfall. The dude's from Indiana. He ain't seen cold and snow like he's going to see up there. But he has had some cold weather experience. I think there must be only a couple of episodes left. So we should be getting winter pretty soon. I'm really still surprised at how many people tapped out within a month. Um, that's pretty crazy. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.